Hey y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to From My Vanity and welcome to another first impressions video. This is going to be on the Physicians Formula Matte Lacquer Cream Eyeliner in the style graphic. I'm not really sure the exact title. I found this at my CVS when I was shopping during their Epic Beauty event. I really haven't seen it anywhere and I typed it into YouTube to see if there were any reviews and I only saw two of them so I was like, you know what? I'm really curious about this. I'm gonna do a first impressions and then test it out for the rest of the month. When I first picked this up, I was like, oh, this is just like a matte version to my favorite liquid liner from Physicians Formula, but it's actually not. It kind of, from this picture, I'm guessing that it's trying to be like a dupe for the Benefit little push-up gel liner thingy that they had, and that totally failed, so I'm kind of scared. But uh, I was trying to look up information. I can't find it many places, and especially can't find it many places that have information on it. But right now I'm on Amazon. It says a gel cream eyeliner with easy to use pen that provides the perfect eye lining tool for your most dramatic long wear liner yet. Extra long wear formula is water resistant and smudge resistant so color stays put and delivers seamless definition. Seamless. We'll see. Infused with lash conditioning peptides, which I really do like because that's what their other liquid liner that I do like from them. I'll insert a picture here. Um, that liner I love from them and it does have some kind of like lash benefits that's supposed to help them grow. I don't know if it really does, but it's it's a nice thought. So obviously I already got you guys zoomed up. I figured that'll just make it faster. I've got my face pretty much done, except for mascara and liner. If you're curious, I have the Morphe foundation on. I have the Catrice concealer. I have the Thrive Cosmetics brow like mascara. And all those reviews for those can be found up here, but I figured I would let you know in case you wanna see up close and personal and know what I have on. Oh, I have also the Milani contour that I also reviewed up there. And then my highlight is from BoxyCharm, which should already be up as well. I'll have that linked up here or down below, but it's the um, pretty vulgar highlighter. So I have reviews for all that already on my channel if you wanna see. Um, if you think it looks good or bad, you can go over there and get more information. But anyway, here's what it looks. It's definitely a lot bigger than the other Physicians Formula eyeliner, which I actually don't have open. I'm a little scatterbrained. I also have the Zulu by Juvia's Place on my eyes, and I also have a review for that in my palette Palooza linked somewhere. But anyway, here is what it looks like. Um, pretty darn thick and like big. Oh, it screws off. Interesting. And it has this little stopper. As you can see, it has that little stopper in it to keep the product fresh, I'm guessing. It doesn't say, I just read the back of this and it doesn't say anything about keeping the little red stopper after you use it. So I'm just going to be putting that over there. Let's make sure we throw that away so Gideon doesn't get it. Um, so the tip, I assume just from looking at it, the like the packaging that it was like silicone, but it's actually like a felt. It's kind of fuzzy, interesting. I'll Let me show you. So here's how it looks. And I think you can see that it's like fuzzy and then it's got the little opening there. So I'm becoming, less and less optimistic the more I find out about this that it's actually going to work. But I got a lot to do today, so let's just get going on this. I'm gonna twist it up, let's see, until I see some and then start applying. Oh, too much. There we go, oh, you can't even see. Too much. I'm gonna just swipe off a little bit of the excess. Definitely looks like a very soft gel liner. But let's just try this out. Okay, let me twist up a touch more and try the wing. Okay, so there is one wing. It doesn't look bad. It definitely was hard to get it smooth here and I feel like it's still a little wrinkly. Let me see if I can get closer. Okay, so that didn't really make it better. That kind of made it worse. Let me know, has this been out for a long time? Cause maybe they released this right after like Benefit released theirs and they were wanting to share an affordable dupe. I just noticed this on the display and I can't really find it anywhere. But I was kind of hoping slash assuming maybe they made it better than Benefit. So doing this, like, I feel like it doesn't look bad, but I'm not, like, I'm not impressed. So let's try and do the other side.
All right, so there we go. I think it looks very uneven today. This one's going way up. I think it's a bit longer. Let me attempt to fix. Okay, so this is where I'm just going to leave it. As you can see, like, I did it, but it's not my preferred way of doing my liquid liner. If you're new to my channel, or if you've been here a while, you'll know this, but if you're new, you might not. I like very thin wings that kind of bleed away into nothing, kind of like what I get with my Vamp Stamp and Vixen. So this is very chunky to me. I'm not crazy about it. So this, I mean, I could do it. It wasn't terrible, but I definitely, I just feel like it, it's kind of, it, I think it's just gonna be the same as the Benefit one in that uh, it makes it a lot harder than it needs to be. I mean, it's nice that it's gel liner is nice and black and matte, so we'll see how it wears today, and I'll leave a pinned comment down below. But anyway, I'm going to pause real quick and do my mascara and then give you my final thoughts, so I'll just be able to think on it for a bit. All right, so this is the completed look. I know it's nothing too different. I just threw on a very quick coat of mascara. But yeah, this is what we got. I don't think it's terrible. I think it does look nice, Like it wasn't, and it wasn't like too hard to use, but I definitely think that it's going to get a similar review to, to what I might have given if I ever picked up the Benefit one and tried it, just because I feel like like everything that I heard in reviews kind of feels like this so I don't know let me know is this new I can't really find any definite information besides that I just can't find this many places so that's why I assume it's new but I just feel like if you were gonna bring out some a dupe for a higher-end version that the high-end version got a really bad rap I was hoping that they would perfect it and I don't see that but I don't know this is just my first impressions my first thoughts we'll have to see it definitely was interesting trying to get a smooth line on it with this thing because it's so fuzzy and interesting and thick um, so I definitely didn't get the thin line that I usually do but I did get a decently straight line so maybe it just it's going to take practice so I will be pulling this into a shop my stash for March so look for my review at the end of March in my monthly makeup review for March and I will have a in-depth review on this after I have used it for a good amount of time but anyway that's gonna do it for this video as I said make sure you look down below in the comments to see my wear test and how this holds up and whatnot I always leave that pin down below but that's gonna do it so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.